to Knock Bro Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to talk about Fear the Walking Dead. Is it a origin story for characters that might cross over into other Walking Dead projects, primarily World Beyond? Yeah, so this is a pretty big topic. I mean, we're big fans of Fear the Walking Dead. We know it's the sister show. At the point in time, Fear is supposed to be separated from the main show. Well, that all went out the window when they crossed Morgan over, and also with Dwight. So the big speculation now is, is Fear and The Walking Get Dead going to do this crazy Marvel-style crossover? Lenny James recently spoke about it, and he's like, is it possible? Yes, but I can't give any information on it. <laughs> he highly doubts it would work, and other even uh, actors say it would probably wouldn't work because there'd be so many people, so many actors. Well, yeah. yes, that's true, but... We're just learning of some speculation of maybe, could there be Fear the Walking Dead characters crossing over into the world beyond? Um, or other Walking Dead or, or, projects, right? Exactly. Um, we don't know what's coming up for the Walking Dead. Um, you know, the the, the, the heads at, at AMC have said that this world is going to expand and continue mm -hmm. to grow. Does that mean future shows? And does that mean characters like, let's use an example, Alicia, mm -hmm. possibly crossing over into these shows and Fear the Walking Dead is her origin story. Exactly. So if you think about it like this, if nobody, if somebody didn't watch, and there's probably a low percentage of this, if somebody never started watching The Walking Dead and they started with fear, the, the main characters, they know who they are. But once Dwight and Morgan come over, they're like, who are these people? Oh, they're from Walking Dead? Well, now I got to go to watch The Walking Dead to get their origin story. So reverse that. If Alicia comes over to The Walking Dead World Beyond or in the main show or something else, those people, viewers who are not aware of that character are going to now be like who is this alicia all right now i gotta watch fear to get her origin story so yeah. is it what they want to do i mean do they want to do that because they know they have percentages of people that a have never watched fear and also i'm sure there's percentages out there of people that have not watched the walking dead yeah. or maybe just starting or starting with however which show they want to yeah. so you know, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a firm believer of let's not do any more crossovers. Um, I, I'm actually okay with a, a complete Marvel merge Fear the Walking Dead mm -hmm. into Walking Dead. Right. Um, but I am a firm believer of World Beyond. I think that's going to be a huge series. Yeah. I think that is going to get the Walking limited, Dead, but yeah. uh, Walking Dead type viewership. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So much so that you say it's limited. Right, I think it's so it's going to be so popular that AMC possibly says, "Hey, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Let's expand this." It just, yeah, I mean, it depends on you know. I'm sure they're not even into season two yet, but mm -hmm. it just depends on their maybe their their story structure. If their yeah. story structure can't go farther, then they are going to be in their limited. They already said they're limited. Yeah. They could change their mind, but it really depends on their story structure. Like, okay, once we get here. You know, what's our cutoff point to yeah. where we can expand on this? But, Are we having other characters come over? Yeah. You know? But yeah. to speak to crossovers, right? Yeah. Because that's kind of what we're talking about here. It, it, you know, I think that we, we've heard that this next season of Fear the Walking Dead is going to jump around a lot. Kind of like half. a Game of Thrones type setup yeah. where you're going to a certain character's point of view and you're telling their story and then jumping to another character to tell their right. story. Um, maybe this is a test to see how that... that, that um, uh, how the how the the watchers and viewers um, accept that type of format, right? And then if it goes over well, maybe that is why they cross over the two shows. Yeah, because it's only going to be in the first half. Because we did some a previous video before, and uh, one of the uh, showrunners said in the second half, that's when our group is finally together yeah. again. So the first half will be this kind of mixing around, telling different versions of the story, and. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. The reason why I say that is because um, if you merge those two shows, Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to jump around to different yeah. characters in different locations because they're at that point going to be so many characters because mm -hmm. there's honestly a lot of characters now. Yeah. And they don't fear, yeah. necessarily jump around that much. No. It's almost like an episode is you know, primarily focused on one focal point. And yeah. then it ends with that. Like, we just don't have that type of format in The Walking Dead now. But I think it's just going to be hard, though. I mean, getting all those characters to The Walking Dead and then going on a Walking Dead comic book storyline, which we know is coming to the end, 
But you have to think about those characters. We, The Walking Dead let go of a major character from the comics that we all love because they stopped writing for him. Who is that? Jesus. Jesus. They stopped writing for him, and the actors said, I'm out. You're going to get that if you bring over really big characters from fear into the main show. you got to write for everybody. Yeah. And, and, and that's, it's going to be tough. And that's what sucks, right? Because you, you let go of a serious character. I mean, there was so much more that that character could have done, um, and, and it just stopped. You just stopped writing for him. Yeah. Like, that's... Terrible. But then you have to think of what the main show would have to do, and they're not just going to tell their viewers, okay, we're bringing all the characters from Fear over. If you want to know their origin story, watch Fear. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. No, no one's going to do that. You're not going to have all these different episodes of all these origin story flashbacks of all these new characters coming over. No. And if maybe they, one or two. Yeah. Not uh, six. And look, if they do do that, <laughs> then, the, the, like, let's use an example. Alicia crosses over into World Beyond, and people are like, hey, her origin story is Fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, people are going to stop after season three and probably not ra- watch yeah. the rest of her origin story because, yeah. guys, it gets pretty lackluster it, after that. It does. I mean, we're honest with you. Season four and five are not great. And I think it's just going to give a stain on the franchise. Yeah, because most people, most of the Walking Dead fans out there are aware of fear. Some of them we've seen in our comments. Yeah, I watched up to season two, couldn't get past it. Watched season one, couldn't get past it. Got to season four, was like, oh my God, what the heck am I watching? We understand that. So you're not going to tell viewers, hey, Alicia Clark, this really strong woman figure coming over to the world beyond or the Walking Dead universe. And you're like, her backstory's fear? Oh, God, I've heard so much bad things. I don't want to watch that. Yeah. Like, it's going to suck because then you're not going to be wanting to know more about her character or anyone else who would come over. Yeah, in my opinion, so, nothing yeah. gets... I don't mean to sidetrack here, but nothing gets better than, from a fear perspective, season one. Yeah. And that first season. It's great. It was freaking awesome. It's great. It you're seeing awesome. the fall. Immediately the yeah. fall on the West Coast, mind you, but you're seeing it from day one, yeah. which was great. And that's why we fell in love with Fear the Walking Dead, and that's why they made that the sister show, is to tell that story of from the West Coast. From the West Coast, from day one, figuring out, are these people sick? What's wrong? Oh my God, they're trying to eat me. Like, <laughs> Is that a heroin addict? Right. Is that an addict? <laughs> like a speed freak? What is that? So, I mean... Yes, it's just, you know, I think Fear lucked out with doing the crossover with Morgan. I think his story was strong enough. to his character to, was strong enough, is, yeah. Exactly, to bring that over to where if you never watched The Walking Dead, you, ne- you necessarily didn't have to go back and watch The Walking Dead to know his origin story because he kind of told some of it yeah. in Fear. I mean, he said, you like, know? I have friends from another community here right you really didn't need to know that much if you're just watching fear the walking dead yeah dwight a little different story yeah you would have been like who the heck is this guy dwight okay morgan and him know each other why is his face burnt exactly (laughs) (laughs) yeah so yeah i think you know we're up for crossovers but i think it would have to be done very well because you have a lot of characters that you'd be bringing over here here, would it really work here's how i think it would work and the show Fear? Yeah, and yeah. the show. And then slowly, not right away, slowly start bringing these characters back into these different franchises. Yeah. That would be awesome. Could you yeah. imagine? We haven't seen Fear the Walking Dead. For, I'm not talking about now, but down the road. We haven't seen it for two years. It's been canceled. Mm-hmm. Alicia shows up in, in The Walking Dead. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. That'd be because sweet. there's been enough time to where you're like, man, I really miss that character. Right. And then they show up, and that's shock value right there. Yeah, so, I mean, we forgot to mention, you know, Fear the Walking Dead currently is six to seven, six to eight years behind The Walking Dead because of The Walking Dead took the time skip. Now, Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 is going to go through a time jump. We don't know how long. But in order to cross people over, you're going to have to have a massive time jump to fit yep. that timeline. Yep. So you could say you could end fear at this point in time. And let's say Alicia shows up in a number. You know, yep. And then you could just say, yeah, it took her a number of years to get there, but she's here now. And then they can maybe do a little bit of a backstory as to, you know, what brought her here? How would you get in this area of the East Coast where our Walking Dead area is? So I, that could work, but... Yeah, I'm just I'm kind of done with crossovers. I, so I, am I. I think they're 
it's been done. I mean, we haven't seen any fear characters go to The Walking Dead, but if they start, I think they're going to have to pick the right ones. I mean, we love all the fear characters, but they're going to have to pick the right ones. I, I that do. can lead with the show. Some of them I'm kind of over by now. Um, like, what? I mean, there's probably another video, but uh, Strand, for instance. Like, I liked Strand, like, mm -hmm. season one, season two. But, like, mm -hmm. now it's just kind of getting, like, uh, do you feel the same way about that, about Strand? Yeah, but the, I, I blame that on the writers, though. True. Yeah. I, I, I really do. I think all of our fear characters, including Alicia's story, has sucked. You're because right. of their writing. You're absolutely right. I mean, they were very strong characters, but because of their writing, they pushed them down a little bit, and hopefully now they're going to bring them back up. Because, yeah, I mean, Strand got annoying. It's just how his character was, but he was never really like with the group. He was always wanting to be with himself, but he, he kept getting himself pulled back to the group because we know that's where his heart is. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, lately... They wrote him badly. Yeah, and, and, and maybe that's what it is. Like all the characters, to be honest, have been destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know one character you don't want over in The Walking Dead. Hmm. Charlie. <laughs> no, that, that person can <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, go immediately. But I mean, we're not going to sit here and pick and choose who we think should go. I mean, we know Charlie. The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know the true leaders, but there are some really other good characters on that on Fear that. I think would be cool in The Daniel. Walking Dead, but oh god, yeah. But cross Daniel over wherever you want, <laughs> to be honest. Daniel the actor's amazing. Daniel and, and Eugene would be kinda cool. His together. backstory, the fact that oh, he was just like this freaking brutal, brutal military guy that has a dark history like CIA type crap, uh -huh. not necessarily for the United States, but right. like cross that character over. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So let us know what you think, guys. Do you think they should just stick to expanding the universe with spin-offs, limited series maybe, rather than crossovers. Or, if they do a crossover, do it in a limited series. Don't make it in a massive television show where it's gonna be hard for them to do. Stick yeah. to a limited series where I think it would fit better in that format. Yeah, so. absolutely guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, please follow us at Knock Nation on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're always notified when we upload new content. I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. We're Knock Nation. We're, We're out. out. Thank you.